Hey guys, it's Tyler from Tinker Content Team coming to you from San Francisco. In this video tutorial, we'll uh, code a game together. Have you ever played Flappy Bird? Uh, we'll code a game in that same style using Tinker Blocks. Here's how it works. In your game, you'll play a soaring strawberry, carefully flying between those gaps uh, in those green barriers. Once you get past, a new barrier appears. The only player control is to flap. Otherwise, the strawberry slowly falls. If you hit a barrier, the game is over. You'll have to restart the project to play another round. Let's code it. Right, now it's time to code the strawberry. So click on it in the actors list, then drag out the on start block. Then we were, we're gonna show the actor. So use this show block. Just make sure that the player can always see the strawberry actor. Later on, we'll hide the actor when the game ends, when the player collides. Next, drag out a forever block. The code inside this will just get repeated again and again endlessly. Then we're gonna change the Y. So Y is the vertical position of this guy. So when you change Y by 10, you'll move it up but we want it to move down. So we'll make that negative. So we'll change it by negative three. And finally, add a weight. And this just gives a little delay so that gravity is not too fast. Otherwise, the game will be really hard. So that's it. That's the code uh, stack for this guy. If you press play, you'll see it fall. Perfect, exactly what we want. Now you'll see the code appear on screen so you can uh, code it yourself now. Uh, when you're ready, unpause and continue to script to. Okay, now for that second script, we should add some player control. So we will drag out the win button pressed. We'll change that to space. You can use whatever you want though. Um, then we'll add a sound effect. So we'll play sound. Uh, some sounds have been preloaded here. We'll use swish for uh, the flap up. And then we're going to drag out a repeat loop. And like the forever loop, this uh, repeats code, but instead of repeating again and again, it only does it a fixed amount of time. In this case, it's 10 times. And now notice how we're gonna keep this positive. So when space press, move up by 10, 10 times. And once again, we're gonna add a weight block so that it's not too fast. We'll make it smaller though, so that it's uh, pretty, pretty speedy. So now you can play your code and look at that, we can fly. What else does the strawberry need? All right, so we have flap controls, we have gravity. Now let's add the ending condition. What happens when the player loses? So we wanna handle what happens when the player touches the barrier. So when the strawberry actor touches that barrier. So drag out the win condition, then drag a touching condition into that. And then you can change it by clicking that drop down, choose barrier. When touching barrier occurs, run all of the code below. So now let's decide what we want to do. Let's play a sound effect. So we'll play that punch noise. And then we'll just hide the actor. So like I said, when the game ends, we hide it. And so that's all the player really needs to understand the game is over and that they need to restart it. Um, we can play it now and we can flap, but of course the barrier doesn't move yet. So uh, take a look at the code on screen now. Okay, now let's switch to the barrier. Um, so this is the actor that the strawberry has to fly past. It just moves to the left. 
So let's write the code to do that to start. Um, uh, we'll start things off with on start again. And we'll have it move in a forever loop again and again because it's it's an endless level. So we'll change the X instead of the Y because we want it to move to the left. So then we'll make that negative five. And then once again, we'll add a little delay. All right, let's try it out. There we go, we got movement. That is the first script for the barrier. Here it is on screen. And finally, we need to make this barrier wrap around. So it moves to the left, but that's all it does. We want it to reappear on the right over here once it reaches the left screen. That'll give the player an endless loop, an endless loop of those barriers to fly through. So let's drag out the when condition occurs again. So when condition occurs. And then once again, use touching. So when touching left edge occurs, let's go to and use this special go to here, the right edge. And now when you play it, you should see perfect. That's a working game. Okay, so that's it. But of course you can add lots of stuff on your own. You can change the barrier's costume so that uh, they move up and down uh, and you select a barrier at random to show the player. Uh, you could edit the strawberries costumes too. Uh, give it wings or make a totally different actor fly. Uh, you could add levels to get faster and faster. You could add a scoreboard to keep track of how many barriers the player passed. Uh, you could make uh, instructions appear on screen for the player so they know exactly how to play your game. You could add power-ups that change the speed of the game. Uh, it's really all up to you. Uh, now that you have the basics working, it you know the sky is the limit. Have some fun with it uh, and show us uh, what you make. Thanks.